I am involved a lot of uh, urban films and action movies. So action movie means that you need stunt people as well. And uh, because of the, it just depends how you do your, 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 your funding. But uh, you know, when you use a good uh, professional steam people, you need to be in Hong Kong to use the steam team of, for example, uh, Jackie Chan. I have a steam team in France, I have a steam team in England. So you need collaboration. Also for the funding, some countries put money in your movie, but in you know, the condition now that you use something from that country as well. So I try to use some actors from India, sometimes, sometimes from America, sometimes from Africa. You know, and uh, and that's it. So you need absolutely uh, collaboration with other people. And you know, like uh, Jean say, uh, make a movie is not uh, uh, individual stuff. It's uh, a team work. You know, and uh, everybody have to set up. You know, sometimes producer, but I am also executive producer because you have to set up everything. And sometimes because your network is really important in this business. Uh, I was in the music business. I am. I'm still be in the martial arts for 30 years. So I put music martial arts fighters in action movies, you know, so you need all of these people to connect everybody and to know who you want to use, you know, like uh, sometimes you don't have money to make a movie, so you have to put some people in the movie that you know that Japan will buy because these guys is in it, like I did for Remy Bolansky for the K1, Russell Wong for America and Tom Fry for the UFC, you know, so this is a question of uh, calculation and uh, collaboration with uh, a lot of people. Okay. Yes, we face all the, the usual challenges in the sense that you've got to get yourself a screenplay together, you've got to get yourself a crew together. The only, the big difference is that what we're doing is, um, since we don't have the big budgets, we're having to to uh, um, persuade people about the passion thing, which is generally quite easy because what we're doing is in fact giving a lot of people opportunities and that's that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to find people who, who want to do their break, want to do their next thing. And in fact, that's part of what keeps us fired up as well, because we work with a lot of people who haven't been sort of uh, dulled by the professional kind of attitude yet. Um, people who, who want to get there. So we find a lot of inspiration in that. Um, so, it's a, so it's a back and forth kind of situation. And the collaboration, to get back to that as well, the longer I work in this industry, the more I appreciate that collaboration with people. For instance, on the next film we, which we're working on now, um, that we're cutting now, uh, the, the, a half of the credits for, for the screenplay will go to all my cast, because I wrote a screenplay of 35 pages, which is usually 120 pages. And um, I wrote a line of dialogue for each scene, and, and then we worked on that. So the cast made the dialogue very much as much as... You see, so there's a lot of collaboration in there as well. So the, the problems, are, the, the challenges we have is, you know, essentially smaller budgets than, than, than average. And we, you know, we do the same thing, but with tighter budgets. Uh, so it means a lot more, a little more talking people in in the first place. And once, we, once we're all in there, we create a kind of a controlled sense of chaos. Like Gene was saying what he got in, in Africa. Well, we do that here. So there's a nice sense of chaos there. And out of the chaos, we get a, a wonderful energy, a kind of a feed, you know, kind of a, uh, interaction between everybody involved. So challenges, same as same as every other challenge. Okay. okay. But, uh, in the media business, is always it's the nature of the media, discrimination, you know, putting the mind of people aside. But remember, those are the obstacles between your way and progress in anything before you make success. I think each and every one of you can say it. What is uh, the success behind? What is the problem behind their success? You have to fight hard. These are the obstacles. Just what Antoine said. You have to believe in what you're doing. True to yourself. Believe in your dreams. And know that one day you're gonna make it. And if these are the obstacles between your way and progress, let it happen. Believe in me, sky should be your limit. These are my principles. And uh, because of all this dis discrimination, all these problems in the media. That's why we are here today. That's why Antonio is here from America. That's why my black South Africans are here from Georgia. Doesn't matter. Together we can make it. And these are the problems you have to conquer. You have to work on it, on them. And trust me, nothing can stop us. We're gonna reach for our goal. Is it not so? Thank you. Um, the debate is still going on. 
Uh, thanks. Uh, now I'm going to come to you, Jean. Uh, my question, my next question to you is, uh, do you think it's important, like for people who come from uh, third world countries and move to the West and they want to make a career in the film industry, for them actually to collaborate with the people who are Dutch, for example, who are in the country? I think there, there are many ways, if you have the ambition to, to, to work in this uh, field of area, one way might be to collaborate. I mean, you, it, it, it's a good way. I, I can also imagine that you create your own group of people and, and try to make, because these days you can make a movie with an HD cam and it shouldn't cost like 20 million. So if you really want a story, it's also possible to create it within your, your own group. Um, the one thing that uh, I think that the problems um, on the other side, the problem is on the establishment of the filmmakers, the media people, who have a very limited vision of, on a multicultural society. I've experienced within my own movies, I always tried from the very first movie I did, uh, called The Distance in the 1980s, I always tried to use and it was my kind of principle, at least one black actor in it. And I always succeeded. And it was, not, it was sometimes if it was a wealth, social worker, or a police officer, or whatever. Now, I had that principle because my casting agency knows it. Uh, once I start doing some commercials, I always looked for, you know, we have a very simple scene. And I think, well, why not put a black character in it? But then comes the problem, especially with television and with uh, the advertisement industry. First they say, okay, it's good, it's nice, it's okay, it's, um, for example, on a commercial for the, for the tax company, uh, a marriage, a white woman, and I said, I have a black guy, they're marrying, I mean, it's normal. Mm -hmm. Then they say, okay, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, and then just before they hammer it, they say, well, but maybe, it's, well, this actor is very black. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's a black actor, yeah, but he's, he's very black. Maybe we should look at the... A little less black. Oh it really happens, and it doesn't happen really? once. It happens every other time, and I know how the discussion goes. And I say, why, why? Well, they say, no, no, no. We don't. You have to look for another one. Then you go look for a little less black. <laughs> then they say, yeah, it's a little bit not not meat nor fish. It's a little bit like no, no, no. Let's go for uh, Indonesian because that's you know that has to do with our culture. And in the end, you have to really fight to get at least an Indonesian colored kind of character. If not, they say, well, forget it, make it a white guy. And it happens to me, I'm going to be honest, it happened to me already four times. And, 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 and because the commercials are not my business, I, I have someone who has to, you know, it's someone else is the producer. If I make movies, I'm my own boss and I can do whatever I want. With commercials, you're dependent. But this is how society thinks. So you end up with less and less and less color. And, and I ask them, why? Then they say, well, if we have like one black character in this little commercial of 20 seconds, it feels like we are doing our best to be political correct. I said, what's wrong with that? And they say, no, 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 let's do it. And that's, that's why even big, big commercials in Holland are totally put up with white people, while society is totally different. And it's their attitude that's the problem. So, you're coming back to your question, it's not uh, only about the attitude of the people coming from the third country, and I think it's always good to try to participate and mingle, but it's the, uh, the, 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 the receiving, the host, who's, who's having problems with the whole issue. Okay. Okay.